What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Bloodborne, and we have a new weapon. We're going to rock the blood letter for a little while. We have just enough in strength, but we're going to stay in transform mode for most of it. Uh, because it's, it scales with blood tinge, which we're a blood tinge build, technically. Not a great one, but we are one. Uh, so you guys want me to buy the root chalice. Short ritual root chalice is how you do the random dungeons. Okay. All right. This, what is the code for the dungeon you want me to look at? Oh, I have to go online. All right, I will do it for you guys, but probably not right now. So we're going to go, I guess, Thumaru Root Chalice next. Let's finish this one first, and then we'll, we'll, we'll wrap back to the one you're talking about. Is that okay? We okay with that? But I will do it. Just for you, Billy. And your want for the cum dungeon. <laughs> I assume the water's all white in it or something. All right. So. Blood mode. It's beautiful, isn't it? How about next stream we submit our chalice codes to, to you to run? Uh, yeah. We can actually do that. Yeah, that's a good idea, all. Let's do that. We'll spend like an episode or whatever running through all the dungeons you guys want, want, me, want me to check out. I like that idea. Good call. So I didn't fully upgrade the blood letter. It's like plus six right now. So we'll see how it does. This still should be really strong for where we're at, I think. Um, But we'll find out together. This definitely makes you commit a little more than the, uh... What the fucking trap? Oh, we're good on damage. <laughs> you sure people have chalices they have found feelings for? They have found feelings for? Are it'd be cool. If there's probably some really cool dungeons out there, I bet that have unique enemies and stuff in them. Oh, hey. Actually, what's the heavy on this do? Oh. It grows. That's cool. What's uh, R2 do? Oh! I'm gonna... Okay. Wait, why do I want to do that? That makes frenzy. The frenzy bad. Oh, I mean, you know what? Can you, can you, or yeah, the madness move. Can you do that against other, other, if you're, yeah, it's a PVP move. Okay. You just sleeping? You just sleeping. try a mace mode for a minute now we're not gonna do we're not gonna have well for where we're at the, the damage will probably be fine but generally speaking it's not gonna be great because i'm not a strength build <laughs> we're definitely more leaning towards the deck side of things holy fuck oh my god drop your fucking eye. i can't reach it thank you oh you stack the oh yeah yeah because you can put runes on to, to, to stop the frenzy uh, build up or reduce it or give you higher resistance or whatever so you could do that and then pop that and kill somebody I like that idea. That's cool It's a high risk high reward weapon here Being that it does a chunk of damage to you I wanted to do the big bonk. What's this do? Nice I'm actually surprised Brader didn't pop the frenzy move on me whenever we fought him. That'd have been pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, so what's kind of weird about Bloodborne and like not having a respec mechanic is like they have this whole game mode or, or section of the game with like this loop of dungeon diving 
And like, this would be a perfect opportunity to respec your character and like try different builds out as you run through. So it's kind of, I don't, I don't know why they never, um, like, I don't know why they didn't consider putting a respec in the game. Being that, you know, the previous three Souls games before this had respecs. It's like really one of the only faults I have with Bloodborne. You don't think it's needed? I mean, I guess a lot of the damage that you do definitely correlates to the gems you have on your... on your weapons. Yeah, but wouldn't you... you mean the difficulty keeps scaling up, so eventually it like... like... it, it stays balanced in a way, you think? Is that what you're trying to tell say all by saying that? Oh, you're at level 420, nice. What a, what a level to stop at, huh? Obviously, we're pretty early in the dungeon still with a barely upgraded weapon doing this much damage. You're sad you accident accidentally deleted Skyrim. Now you gotta redownload the game and spend two days getting your mods downloaded too. Oh, yeah. Depending on how um, dramatically you modded the game, which if you're like me, dramatically, if you play Skyrim, you're going to dramatically mod it and change all kinds of shit about it. Um, that could take a while um, on console. I am. Um, I use I'm on, on Steam. It doesn't take very long, though. It's a matter of just getting everything set up through Nexus. And usually they, they, it, they're pretty easy to, to get working. I never really use the Bethesda mod thing. So I think most of these side doors have um, additional chalice dungeon materials in them. And I think we're going to need them. Because usually when I've stopped with chalice dungeons, when I hit that wall where I'm out of materials, and I don't feel like grinding them. I love how that's a fucking, you stab them through you. That is so cool. Oh my God. Oh, all right. Hold on. That's big brain. I didn't realize that. If you transform with the attack, you heal yourself immediately afterwards. That's how you should use the blood letter then. Okay. That's cool. I like that. Oh, that scared me. All right. That's the uncanny saw cleaver. Cool. That's a different, I don't know. I don't know what that means. <laughs> um, what does uncanny mean? Does anyone know? Oh, it has different blood gem slots. That's what it is. Okay. Cool. That was a random little find. Uh, did I miss anything else here besides that rat over there? That's actually dead. Oh, good. We need that, I think. Um, we went over there. Where was the door? Oh, uh, wait, we did miss something. Um, okay. Well, it's going to bother me. I need to go figure it out. More light. Oh, wow. All right, we figured it out. <laughs> nice. Yeah, the fact that you can, if you do the uh, transform move mid combo, that heals the damage the blood letter does to you. That is, that is fucking awesome. All right, boss fight, probably. Yeah. All oh, the boys are back in town. Dude, that is so fucking cool.
Oh, that combo is nice. Dude, look at that. I didn't see, what did we get there? I wasn't paying attention. So generally running a chalice gives you the necessary materials for the next chalice already all the way to the queen. Oh, so you can do everything then? Is the queen the final, like, regular, like, unique boss in the chalices? Yoshimitsu stuff? What does that mean? Yoshi Wait, what does that mean? What do you mean? What does that mean? Like, gear? Did I get gear? Well, no, I know who Yoshimitsu is. I know he's from Tekken and also Soul Calibur. But, but, but what, it, what did I just get right there? Dude, that, that's a fake wall. It's not a fake wall. Oh, you're saying the move is Yoshimitsu stuff. I, did anyone see what that, that, that child, that, that boss dropped there? That's what I was asking because I was looking at chat. No, 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 I know he stabs himself. I'm, I'm good. I know what you're talking. I know I understand. I thought you guys were answering the question I asked. I'm good. The fuck is that? Hello. Ow. That wasn't worth it. Uh, yeah, Catman. Whenever I stab, it transforms the weapon. When I stab myself, it transforms it. Into like a giant blood mace thing. Real quick, where's this go? I say that like I know where I'm at anyway. Another suspicious hallway. My favorite kind of hallway. Um, That looks like we're going back down. What the fuck? Hey! Oh, there's the lever. Pull the lever. Crunk. Wrong lever. That was not what I meant to do there. Dude, that knockback, too. I love it. Oh, what are you doing there, buddy? Ow. Anyone want to drop some blood gems? Or not blood gems, blood piles. I totally remember how to get back right now, guys. Also, I know exactly where we are. Not a big deal whatsoever. Surely up is the right way. Hey, thank you. Oh no. Uh, okay. Wait, where are we at? I don't know where we're at. Oh, that's the hallway. Oh boy. Okay, I, yeah, we're gonna go here, because this is the right way. It's, in fact, not the right way. 
if you were wondering. Oh no. Uh, this way? Yes, there we go. All right, boss fight time. Uh, maybe. Hold on, there might be a side room. Never mind. Side room. Hello. Uh, what we got it going on here? Big old pig. Rats. Hell yeah. Oh, there you go. Ow. So I'm guessing that if you don't explore these side areas, you might not come out with enough chalice material then. So you probably need to go through all of them. Enema time! Oh god, the scavener here. What is that noise? Something's banging on something. Some consumables. Wait, real quick. Anything on the sides? No. All right. What do you got over here there, buddy? Some ritual blood? Oh, maybe it's another uncanny weapon. No, just two mold. All right, this is the way out. Then we probably got a boss fight. So whenever you guys say you want to check your chalices, like, do you mean like you put in random codes and like you ended up in certain chalices? I like, how do the people like, like if you find a cool chalice that you like, how do you get a code for it? Like, I don't, I'm not aware of how any of this stuff works. Uh, pig. Boss pig. Ow. I'm fucking around with a pig, I shouldn't be. Oh, that that uh, that uh, heavy attack takes a long time to activate. After you're showing you're gonna sleep, you ever did your workout today? You're seeing things in your place you've never seen before. <laughs> nice, there we go. 
Yeah, this, um... I mean, typically when I do a Bloodborne run, I really don't fuck around with the Chalice Dungeons, but... I figure, why not? Let's check them out. And thankfully, being that we're in the, at the end of the game, a lot of the early ones are pretty easy to get through. Oh, uh, when you make a Chalice that stays on the Tombstone, you have seven Tombstones. But, like, when you make a Chalice, you're it's randomly generated, right? Oh, uh, when you interact, it shows the code. Got it. Okay, thank you. Fire paper, some ritual blood, and more blood vials. I gotta go on the other side of the ladder. There we go. What do we got? Oh, hello, sir. Don't. Ow. Bad. Listen, item boys. Where do you keep those at? You're naked. Excuse me, sir. Totally have no clue how to get back to where the beginning of this dungeon was. But we're going to go down here first and see if we can find something cool. Oh. Oh. Um... There's a door here, so that's good. I feel like I missed something in this one. Oh wait, we've we not been we've not been here yet. Okay. Qu quadra kill. We got here. Blood Tinge Gemstone 3. Okay. That actually might be an upgrade for us. Alright, no doors around here. Okay. Yeah, I mean, there's definitely an allure to coming here earlier than I did. For sure, because you can find some stuff that would probably make the playthrough a lot easier. And you can build up blood vials and bullets and everything else as you do it. Really? Nothing in here? Kind of lackluster, huh? Which door? This one? I feel like I'm going in circles now.
Oh, all right, there we go. Lucky me, we made it. Door, nice. All right, what we got back in here. Anything good? Here, pigs. High frames! Oh, well, you're gonna slow walk at me. And then throw up. Really, no vials? Okay, there we go. Oh, look, a boss that we fought is now chilling in here. Why wouldn't he be? <laughs> so do you guys know, are these like dungeons we're going through, are these parts procedurally generated too? Or is it only the root ones that are? Go low first. All right, the so the ones we're doing right now are not procedurally generated. Okay, the ones with the modifiers are okay. That's why we're gonna. If you actually fully explore these, you'd have enough material to move on. Then okay, tracking. Holy f Okay, that was almost bad. Uh, hello? Forgot that was there again. <laughs> All right, let's go up the other side now. Or is there another lower path over here? Yeah, let's check over here. Oh, uh, other side probably. Yeah. What's skittering? I thought I heard skittering. I know there's spiders in here in the dungeons eventually. Oh, it's probably the rats. I like how it covers you in blood when you uh, when you switch modes. Oh, sorry. You can die with your friends. My bad. We got here. Fire paper. I've always wanted it. Did I go back here? Oh, that's the way out. All right, cool. Hopefully we got everything. it's this way because the lamps are lit yeah boss fight time probably Let's see what we got
beast. Oh, it's the pyromancy dude. We killed one of these before. There's like this is like the other one that's in the game, I guess. I don't actually know what all he does. Can I parry you? I probably can. Come here. Yeah. Oh, we're at the end. Cool. Want the bone set? We should be heading towards it eventually here. I'm pretty sure that's part of the main progression through the game. There's like a Thumerian boss that's not the Queen of Yarn, it's pretty difficult too, I think. Okay, that's the second chalice. Uh, now, I guess we would do Central Thumaru Chalice. Yeah. Okay, so these are shared, it's a shared fixed dungeon. Or wait, what did we just do? Fuck, I don't know what we just did. It doesn't say which one this was. Just Thumerian Labyrinth. <laughs> I think it's central. Whatever, I don't know what that means. Okay, they all say Chamber of the Seal, so I guess that's right. Central Thumerian Labyrinth versus Thumerian Labyrinth. Okay. It says depth too, so I guess we're going the right way. <laughs> What's up, Rex? How's it going? All right, let's go give the uh, let's put the old church pick on for this one. I should have took the Avalon to plus ten. Also, yeah, I'll do it. I lied. We're going back to the blood letter. I want to see how I want to, I want to see if the damage is still okay with it. It is. Doing good. Been playing some Elden Ring with co-op with friends. It's been fun. Nice. Are you doing the regular co-op or using mods for the seamless co-op? New enemy type! Same was nice. That's definitely the preferred way to play for me now with co-op. That was so fun when we did that playthrough. Oh, what me and RP did on stream. Definitely, sh that, that should have been how it was originally implemented into the game. Uh, what are you doing? He's dying, okay. But yeah, I'm glad you're enjoying that because it was really fun when I did it. Uh, alright, Sue. So, wait, oh. 
Were we in here already? Who be throwing stuff? Hey. Bad. Oh, of course you dropped something. Thanks. Uh, alright, well, where are we going? Not that way. The bell lady was down here. Oh, this way. Oh, they're dropping more, uh, more echoes now. That's good. Ow. It's in the box. Or chest. Patrol blood, too. I can't move. Really? You, you survived that? Okay. They're on Colossal Weapon build with some int for some of the int weapons like Ashes of War. Nice! Colossal Weapons are my favorite. So. It's a good build right there. Dogs! Are fun to fight! I love the dogs! Alright, isn't that like enough, guys? No, it's not enough? Okay, okay, we're not nowhere near enough. I understand. So, there would have been a way we didn't go here yet. Is it this room? Um, I don't know. This might not be the right way. Ah, uh, there's dead shit that way. Let's go back here. Um, okay, so this is the way we came in, right? That way. Okay, then that means the bell lady was right here. Maybe. I think I'm going in I'm going in a circle right now. Alright, you come is it just left? No. Fuck. Oh, crap. Here we go. Now I'm actually fucking lost. Two doors. Two... Oh, there we go. <laughs> Never mind. We're good. Alright, no bonus door here. Probably just boss fight. Oh, you're back. Hello. Oh, dude, the box. Our boy got all the fireballs. Should be a kill, I think. Yeah. There we go. Give me a pyromancy. Teach me your ways. No, I'm just a blood gem. And deeper we go. Bonus room. Yes.
Oh, what we got in here? We got scorpions in here. A little... Okay. That's a little creepy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love the poison. Yes, 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 yes. It's good. Very good. Thank you. Uh, that one broke. Just because you, uh, you can't use faith primers doesn't mean they're not in the game, right? Yeah, they're they're tanky. I can imagine later, like in, in higher tier dungeons, those things would take a lot of damage to kill. They're at least tanky, uh, comparatively. Rad scorpions and bloodborne, yeah. Oh, you can torch them, yeah. I didn't upgrade my torch. Whoa, what, 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 hello? Oh. Oh. That was me. Oh god, oh no, I'm being eaten alive by a slime. Alright, look, everyone take a fucking chill pill here. Just relax, calm down. Better. Yeah, I always use, I always uh, use, uh, you always forget towards existing games with lanterns. Yeah, I always, I'm a big lantern enjoyer in every soul, every game that has it. Which, what was, what was the first Souls game that had a lantern in it? Like, that you actually wore on your side. Because there's a lantern in Dark Souls 1, but you have to hold it as a weapon. Was it Dark Souls 3? Was there one in 3? I know, obviously, Bloodborne is the one that I always think of, and then Elden Ring. You could actually put one on, though, in Demon Souls? Because I thought you just had the little light that was always... It was always on you, though. Yeah, you always had it, right. Um, is that a mini greatsword right there? Dude, it definitely is a mini greatsword. <laughs> if only. Oh, that looks fucking cool. Oh, you can't go up. <laughs> can't go up that. Yeah, I watched the new Doom trailer, Catman, for uh, Doom the Dark Ages or whatever it's called. It looks really cool. Oh my, there's a lot. Oh, you know what? Actually, we're going to come, come on down here. All right, well, I, I guess you don't have to come in slow motion. That was wonky as fuck. Uh, when you get, when you get a lull, check Discord if you, if you want to show the potential limit. Oh, yeah, yeah, I will, Kenny. We'll do it at the end of stream. Um, and it doesn't have to be a potential. We'll just, we'll just do it. Pinter Tomb Chalice acquired. No, I don't believe there's any Elder Scrolls uh, six news. But yeah, oh, they were all falling over each other there. It was getting real weird. Whoa, where'd you come from? All right, across the bridge we go. But yeah, Kenny, we're just going to add it as an emote because you put all that work into it. I'm not going to let that go to go waste at all. I, I appreciate the time you spent. 
Uh, we're back. Okay, cool. That was all for that area. Oh, no, I got you. Yeah, I'll look at it and everything still. But uh, I, I'm guessing based off of your initial concepts and stuff you shared, your sketches and everything, it's going to be good. Um, I just might need you to send it to me in certain file sizes. Or uh, not file sizes, but like certain uh, pixel sizes or whatever. You're looking forward to it, Val, since you play the other, other games in the universe called Pillars of Eternity. Oh, nice. I didn't. I need to watch the Xbox showcase. Because I'm not even sure what all they announced in it. Uh, I'm also lost. Fuck. Okay. Um. Oh, no. Uh, I don't know where to go. That's not a good sign. Uh, there we go. Alright, I think this is right. Maybe? Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, boss fight time then? If there is a boss, maybe? Oh fuck, wait, we're going up. Wrong way. Oh, no boss fight. Basically, uh, thought to be a spiritual successor of Pillar of Eternity to BG2 before BG3 came out. It's like BG2 that it's, uh, that it's a real time with pause. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I'll have to check out the trailer for it. I've never heard of that before. I've heard, I'm pretty sure I've heard of Pillars of Eternity at some point. Okay, so Pillar of Out is supposed to be like Skyrim and the like. Okay. Um, was there nothing? Okay, other way then. Um, the fuck are you? Ow! Oh shit. Nope. 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 That's called panic rolling, if anyone's wondering. New enemy type. You're not level 420? 406? Still, that's fucking crazy. I think we're, we're not even level 100 right now. Uh, Alright, I came in this room, but where where go now? Um, nowhere? Did I miss a door?
Oh. Ow. I want to check out the, um, what was the other trailer that I, I saw that looked super interesting? Oh, I can't think of what game it was for now. Are you dead? Yeah, this is the beginning of the area. Oh, the new, I want to, I want to watch the trailer for Gears of War E-Day. I, I was a big fan of Gears of War back in the day. I played all of them up through Gears 4, which I think there was one more after that that I never played. Ah, there he is, Bone Man. Or Bone Girl, I don't know. Keeper of the old boards, either way. I don't think you can get whatever weapon that is, because it'd be really cool if you could, because they just enchanted it with fire. Oh, Pillars of the Trinity is the same guy who directed New Vegas. Nice. All right, we got the Central Thumeru Root Chalice, uh, Sharp Damp Blood Gem, and Twin Bloodstone Shards. Um, let's finish this last one. I think we have one more level to go down. At least this side area. Are we able to... So if I leave a Chalice Dungeon, can I come back to the same level I'm at now? Or do I have to start over? I'm guessing you can probably just go back to the level you're at. Oh, what the fuck is going on here? Uh, Gears of War was an Xbox and still is an Xbox. Well, I guess PC also exclusive. Um, I, I don't actually know what, what is that? Oh, bolt. okay. Boulder. Um, what I was going to say was, I don't know if I, I mean, you can play it on, you can play gears one on PC through, through game pass. So I guess that still makes it an Xbox exclusive sort of, uh, cause you can't play gears, the rest of them on PC to my knowledge. Cause I know we were going to, we were going to do a co-op playthrough of all that me and RP. Um, but the only ones, what is that? What are you? Oh, I love that you do madness. That's fucking great for my mental health. It's like a Kanehurst enemy, but they do madness. But yeah, I think that um, you can play Gears 1 on Game Pass on PC, but the rest of them were all on Xbox. Or are on Xbox because you can if you have um, Xbox Game Pass, not PC, you can play I think all the Gears games on there. Unfortunately, I don't have an Xbox. Well, I do have an Xbox One, but I don't I don't even want to begin to try to set that thing up. I don't even know where the cables are for it. It's sitting on a shelf behind me, but I don't know where the cables are. You've resized the image. It's in a zip file. It has three sizes for emotes and three sizes for badges. Hell yeah. Uh, I wonder if I can add a different badge. Definitely going to make it an emote though, Kenny. Um, hold on. It, wait a second. Wait, where am I at right now? 
Went that. There's a door here. Let's go through this door if we can go through it. Uh, the old double door. Oh, oh, chest. Okay, so we're not done then. Uh, Alright, how would I get over there? Okay, cool. back here oh here we go I was looking for though. This is the double door, yeah. Yeah, I think Gears of War's genre is technically like a cover shooter. Oh well, we're back here. Badge are the things next to membership so we could have both. What do you mean? Uh, the chocobos stay. That's what you're implying. Alright. Uh, let's go back to the dream. Gears is the only good Xbox franchise. What is another Xbox franchise? I can't think of one off the top of my head. I'm sure that, uh, Halo. Halo's good. What's wrong with Halo? I was definitely more of a Gears person than a Halo person, but I would like to play all the Halo games. Alright, so, if you're watching on YouTube, oh, excuse me one second, we're going to wrap this episode up right here, so, next time we're going to go back into the Chalice Dungeons and try to go a little further, it sounds like everybody wants to do, like, a submit your own dungeon kind of thing, so we'll see how far we get, um, I don't know if we'll finish everything necessarily, um, I might just go end the game after that, but we'll see, so, if you're watching on YouTube, thank you for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.